3. Therefore, under the condition of minimal factorization, the rules must be formulated in quite a different way. Assuming now that the passive element b plus n derives from an independent source, the rule of np preposing must be based on the following sd. 7. v b slash np v b slash np v b slash. Thus the transformation in question will apply to a string factored into five factors, the first, third and fifth arbitrary, and the second and fourth NPS. Terms changed by the rule are specified as constant categories, contexts are arbitrary. The associated structural change will state that the FUATH factor moves into the position of the second factor. We might formulate the rule of NP postposing in the same manner with a structural change indicating that the second factor moves into the position of the FUATH factor. The difficulties facing such an analysis appear at first and may prove to be insurmountable. Whether this is so or not is a question that I would L like to explore. Notice that if we can go as far as this, we can take a further step, exploiting Iman's structure-preserving hypothesis which entails that NP can move only into the NP position in the phrase marker remains 1 976. Thus the rules in question reduce to the following formulation. 8. Move NP. This seems a natural consequence of assuming the condition of minimal factorization. As noted, the condition of minimal factorization extends to the context of a rule the requirement of analyzability as a single constituent imposed on the factors changed by the rule. If this extension seems natural, we are then led to consider the following condition on an SD of the form 2. 9. If AI is satisfied by a factor changed by the rule, then AI may be terminal or a category. If AI is satisfied by a factor not changed by the rule, then AI may be either VB slash or a terminal string. The case of terminal strings changed by a rule seems rather marginal. 173. Perhaps we may consider such rules to be of a special type. What Bach, 1, 965, has called housekeeping rules. If so, we may say that for the basic rules of the grammar, factors changed by the rule must be analyzed by the SD as categories while contexts, factors not changed, must be either terminal or arbitrary. If terminal contexts can be eliminated in general, we will have rules of the form 8. I think that 9 is probably too strong a condition, but that the weaker condition of minimal factorization may be tenable despite the fact that its consequences approach 9, as we have seen. I would now like to consider a few of the problems that arise under such radical restrictions of the expressive power of transformations as those just suggested. Evidently, a grammar limited to such rules as 7 or 8 will overgenerate massively, since intricate constraints cannot be built into specific transformations. Consider the case middle dot of NP preposing I. E. The leftward movement case of 7. By general conditions on recoverability of deletion, the correct formulation of which is a non-trivial matter, cf. Peters and Ritchie, 1, 973. The second NP can move only to an NP position that is empty of any lexical material. Assuming that the left NP position which is to receive the moved NP, is empty, either by virtue of prior NP postposing or for some other reason, we will have such instances of NP preposing as the following. 1 0 A. John is believed, T is incompetent, B. John is believed, T to be incompetent, C. John S. was read, T book, D. John seems, T to like Bill, E. John seems, Bill to like T, F. Yesterday was lectured T, G. Yesterday S lecture T. In each case, T is the trace left by movement of the N, P, John, yesterday. Of these examples, only B, D, and G are grammatical, although N, P preposing has applied in a comparable way in all cases. 
manifest the rule over generates, specifically, in cases, A, C, E, and, F. There are two general approaches to the problem of overgeneration in such cases as these. We may try to impose I conditions on the application of rules or two conditions on the output of rules I E on surface structures. The latter may be related to rules of semantic interpretation that determine LF under the assumptions of EST. As we will see, I and two may fall together. Both sorts of conditions. 174. May be related to perceptual strategies in some way. C.F. Chomsky, 1 973, and references cited the. In either case, I, or case, 2, the conditions in question may be universal or particular, and in the case of, I, if particular, they may be language particular or rule particular. In the best case, of course, the conditions will be universal. That is, we try to abstract general properties of transformations that do not have to be built into specific transformations. Thursday S. The set of potentially available grammars is reduced, and we approach a fundamental problem of accounting for the fact that language can be learned. If we conclude that some condition is language particular, we must find a way to account for its application in a given case. If the condition is rule particular, we have to account for the fact that specific rules observe the condition and that speakers have no ledge of this property of the language. Even if conditions are language or rule particular, there are limits to the possible diversity of grammar. Thursday S, such condition S can be regarded as parameters that have to be fixed for the language or for particular rules, in the worst case, in language learning. We would then raise the question how the class of grammars so constituted, with rules that lack expressive power that parameters to be fixed independently, compares with the class of grammars permitted under a theory that permits articulation of conditions on application within the formulation of the rules themselves. It has often been supposed that conditions on application of rules may USD be quite general, even universal, to be significant. But that need not be the case if establishing a parametric condition permits us to reduce substantially the class of possible rules. We might hope to find that even if some condition C on rule application is language particular, nevertheless some general principle determines that it applies in languages of some specific type, in which case we will have again reduced the problem, indirectly, to a property of UG, or in the case of rule particular conditions, we might find that they apply to rules of some specific category, say, movement rules. Such a result would be as welcome as a universal condition, in that it limits the choice of grammars in a comparable way. That is, the child would not have to learn anything about the applicability of the condition, a universal principle would determine this. Many proposals of this nature appear in the literature. I am going to suggest that there are conditions that apply to transformational rules and interpretive rules, and other conditions that apply only to transformational rules. These conditions belong to 175. The theory of sentence grammar. There may be other conditions that apply to the rules that assign semantic representations to LP and elements of other cognitive structures, I, E to rules that extend bay on sentence grammar in their scope, for example, to free anaphora, which may involve properties of discourse, situation, and assumed background belief. Consider again the examples of overgeneration in 1.0. In work referred to above, I have suggested that we can account for these examples in terms of certain general conditions on rules. Consider a structure of the form. 1.1. X middle dot L C R X then no rule can involve X and Y in 1 1 where is the tense test the tense test condition 22 or where it contains a subject distinct from Y and not controlled by X the specified subject condition henceforth S S C for discussion C F Chomsky 
1975b. I will assume further that transformations, but not interpretive rules, meet the condition of subjacency, which restricts their application to a single cyclic node or adjacent cyclic node S. 23. The tense test condition suffices to explain the difference of status between LO and LOB. SSC accounts for the distinction between 22 in the case of a transformational rule. We may understand X is involved in the rule to mean that X is changed by the rule or is a constant context for some change. C.F. Fengo and Lasnik, 1976, for an interesting case of the latter sort. First the terms involved in the rule are the factors that are not arbitrary strings, in accordance with their SD. In an interpretive rally, we may say that X and Y are involved if the rule establishes a relation of an afra or control relating X and Y. C.F. Jack Endoff, 1972, Wausau. Forthcoming. Fengo, 1974. I leave other questions open, pending further investigation. The condition on it raises questions that I will not pursue. For English, tense, sentences and subjunctives fall and are a pose sibly. The condition may vary within a limited range among languages. Thus, it might be that the condition holds for a finite. Only in languages that distinguish finite from infinitive complements. There is some O2 I3 da Amsha and Dog. This there effect that it is two unsolved problems. Sparse to be convincing. Are some involving so called middle dot picture noun. Reflex. Evisation, which so far is a stainless ice under any general theory known to me. C.F. Jack Endoff, 1 972. It may be as suggested in HELC 197-1, that English reflexivization is a complex of two processes, one a process S of bound nafa restricted by conditions on sentence gram ma, and the other a more general process involving other factors that applies to reflexives of very different so 11 S, for example, in such languages as Korean where the item that has been called reflexive is not bound by principles of sentence grammar, so it appears, and thus natural ly violates grammatical conditions. Note also such examples as the men expected that pictures of each other would be on sale. Reapplication of the reciprocal rule violates the dense test condition in a non-subjacent construction, as compared with the men expected that each other would win, observing the tense death condition and our subjacency. I hope to present a more comprehensive discussion elsewhere. 176. Iod and Io. To exclude Ioc, we might appeal to the A over A condition. Notice that in these cases, at least, we might reformulate the conditions in question as conditions on an enriched surface structure involving traces instead of conditions on the application of rules. What about the phrases, I of, and, I og? Immens suggests that such examples as these show that NP preposing cannot be a unitary phenomenon, but must apply differently in sentences and noun phrases. However, we might appeal to a principle of semantic interpretation of surface structures, in part independently motivated, to make the distinction. Consider the next two sentences. 1 2 A. Beavers build dams B. Dams are built T by beavers, where T is the trace left by NP preposing. Under its most natural interpretation, B is false, since some dams are not built by beavers. Thus in B, under this interpretation, the property built by beavers is predicated, false Y, of all dams. No such interpretation is possible for A, which predicates the property dam builder of all beavers, which is not to say, of course, that all beavers build dam S, 
rather, all have the species property in question. Such examples indicate that the subject-predicate relation is defined on surface structures. Of course, to understand, b, we must also know that the subject dams bears the same thematic relation to the verb build as it does in a. Assuming now that traces appear in surface structure, the requisite information appears in b under the general convention that the trace T is under the control of the phrase dams that moved from the position marked by T, which we may regard as a bound variable in B. Let us return now to the problem of 1 of G, repeated here as 1 3 A B. 1 3 A. Yesterday was lecture D B. Yesterday S lecture T. Assume that NP preposing is indeed involved in each case. But the principle of interpretation that assigns the subject-predicate relation will give nonsense when applied to 1 3 a. It makes no sense to predicate was lectured of yesterday. We might, then, argue that 1 3 a is ungrammatical, but by virtue of a violation of a principle of 177. Semantic interpretation, I. E. It is unsemantic rather than unsyntactic apostrophe, if we regard these interpretive rules as part of semantics. Lay in contrast, the principle of subject-predicate interpretation does not apply at all to 1-3-B, which is not a sentence. Rather, the principle of interpretation that applies here is the one that we see exemplified in such structures as John S. Kitten, which may be understood to mean the kitten that John has or that he owns, or that he made out of clay, or that he fathered, or gave birth to, in the case of an oddly named female cat, etc. As we let factual assumptions range, the range of possible interpretations in such cases varies widely, in a manner that has yet to be explained. It seems plausible to suppose that it may comprehend 1-3-B as a special case. Thursday s we might try to account for the distinction between L3A and 13B, not in terms of an enriched theory of transformations, but in terms of principles of semantic interpretation which are, if this line of reasoning proves correct, independently motivated. This proposal remains a promissory note in the absence of a theory of subject predicate and possessive interpretation. But such a theory is certainly necessary, and may well accommodate the phenomenon under consideration. It seems to me at least plausible and perhaps quite reasonable to adopt the working hypothesis that no enrichment of the theory of transformations is called for in this case. The discussion of these examples illustrates the possibility of compensating for the overgeneration of a highly restricted theory of transformations in terms of conditions on transformations and on interpretation of surface structures, conditions which may be quite general, perhaps properties of yoga itself. Let us now come to a somewhat different, though related matter. Consider examples 14 and 1 5. 1 4. A. The men like each other B. The men like them C. I like me. 1 5 A. The men want John to like each other B. The men want John to like them C. I want John to like me. Let us assume the following two rules. 1 6. Reciprocal interpretation, which assigns an appropriate sense to sentences of the four men P. Each other 24. 24 on the semantics of this construction, see Fengo and Lasnik, 1973, Doherty, 1, 974, 178, 1, 7, disjunct reference, doctor, which assigns disjunct reference to a pay IR, NP, pronoun and more generally, to two NPs, under somewhat different conditions that extend beyond sentence grammar, CF. Note 37. The reciprocal rule applies to L4A, but cannot to apply to L5A by virtue of SSC. Thus, 14A is grammatical but 15A is not. The rule doctor applies to 14B 
assigning disjoint reference that is blocked from application in 15B by SSC. The reference of the min 15B is therefore free. It can, in particular, be understood to refer to the men. In the case of 14C, doctor applies assigning disjoint reference, which is impossible in this case. In the parallel case of 15C, doctor cannot apply by virtue of SSC, so that me and I may be a new SDB co Hence, 14C is strange, whether ungrammatical or not is a matter that need not concern us here. It depends on what status we assign to doctor, in a sense in which 15C is not. In these examples, as before, SSC functions so as to permit a very simple formulation of rules. Thus such examples as 1-4 and 1-5 do not compel us to depart from the simplest possible formulation of the rule of reciprocal interpretation and drive, a formulation which simply asserts that the hold of any NP and an anaphoric element, reciprocal, pronoun. I suggested before that, LO, is blocked by SSC but without explaining how. Let us consider two interpretations of this suggestion. We assume now that, IAD, derives by NP preposing from the underlying structure X seems, John to like Bill, or X is some terminal placeholder for NP, the exact character of which need not detain us now. On one interpretation, SSC prevents the rule from preposing John in X seems, Bill to like John, to give. Hello. Thus, SSC blocks a certain transformational rule. Alternatively, we might construe SSC as a condition on surface structure interpretation but not transformations. Thursday S, the NP preposing rule applies freely, giving both, IAD, ARID, IO. But we must surely regard the relation between NP and the trace that it controls as a special case of bound nafara, CF. Fengo. 1974, Chomsky, 1975 b, that is, as a relation just like the one that holds between antecedent and reciprocal. Thursday, S, SSC will block the rule of bound and afro exactly as it blocks reciprocal interpretation and disjoint reference in the cases just described. It is in this sense that we can regard SSC, in such cases, as a condition on surface structures applying quite generally to anaphora, hence to the NP trace relation, rather than a condition on transfer machines. In principle, the two interpretations of SSC have distinct. 179. Empirical consequences, but the issue is complex and it is not easy to sort out the consequences. Were it not for SSC, the rules as formulated would overgenerate. In the case of 1-6, and undegenerate, in the case of 1-7, since when it applies it rules out certain sentences and interpretations. The SSC compensates for certain instances of misgeneration. The same is true of the tense S condition. Consider 1-8, A. The candidates expected that each other would win. B. The candidates want each other to win. C. The candidates expected that they would win, D. The candidates want them to win, E. I expected that I would win, F. I want me to win. The condition locks the reciprocal rule in, A, but not, B. It blocks doctor in, C, but not, D, so that the pronoun may refer to the candidates in, C, but not, D. It blocks doctor in, E but not in 0, which is therefore middle dot middle dot strange or ungrammatical, depending on our conclusion concerning violation of drive. Now consider examples 1-9 and 20. 1-9-A. The men seem to John T to like each other. B. The men seem to J on T to like them. C. I seem to John T to like me. 20. A. John seems to the men, T, to like each other, B. John seems to the men, T, to like them, C. John seems to me, 
t to like me. The examples of 1 9 are analogous to 1 4 plus n a each other is anaphorically related to the man in b the pronoun cannot refer to the man and c is strange or ungrammatical. In short, the rules of reciprocal interpretation and doctor apply in 1 9 as in 1 4. Examples 20 are correspondingly analogous to 1 5. Reciprocal interpretation is blocked in case A. Doctor is blocked in case B, so that the pronoun can refer freely, in particular, to the one. And C is fine. These examples are analogous to those discussed earlier, and should fall under the same principle. But SSC does not seem to apply why, since there is no subject in the embedded sentences of 20 as there was in 1 5 to put it into effect. Examples 1 9 behave as though there is no specified subject in the embedded sentence. Examples 20 in contrast are treated as though 180 there were a specified subject in the position marked by the trace T left by NP preposing of the subject of the matrix sentence. In the case of 20 a mentally present subject blocks application of the rules by SSC just as the physically present subject John in 1 5 locks the same rules. In the case of 1 9, the mentally present subject does not block application of the rules. To extend SSC to all of these cases, it is necessary to define specified subject as above. Although not logically necessary, this is entirely natural. It amounts to regarding the trace as a bound variable with all of the relevant properties of its controller, the noun phrase to which it is bound. Let us now stipulate explicitly what we have been tacitly assuming. Movement of a phrase by a transformation leaves behind a trace controlled by the moved phrase. The trace will be interpreted as a bound variable, along lines to which we will return. The trace is a zero morpheme phonetically null but morphologically on the par with any other terminal symbol of the level of phrase structure. Just as the lexical string John serves as a specified subject in 1 5, locking any rule that relates y of 1 1 2 x, so the trace d serves as a specified subject in 20, locking any rule that relates y of 1 1 to x unless d is bound by x. In all cases, then, the rules apply as though the noun phrase binding the trace d were actually present in the position of t. The trace theory thus permits otherwise valid conditions to apply, again overcoming cases of misapplication of rules, overgeneration in the case of the reciprocal rule, and a generation in the case of disjoint reference. Observe that there is no plausible semantic reason for the inapplicability of the rules in 20. Consider the reciprocal rule. The bear, each of the men, the authors, is similar in meaning to the bear, the men, each other, thus corresponding to 14A, 15A, 19A, and 20A, repeated here as 2 liters AD, we have 22 AD, respectively. 2 1 a the men like each other b the men want john to like each other c the men seem to john t to like each other d john seems to the men t to like each other 22 a each of the men likes the others b each of the men wants john to like the others c each of the men seems to john t to like the others d John seems to each of the men, T, to like the others. The sentences of 22 are all fully grammatical. 22A is similar if not identical in meaning to 21A, and there seems to be no independent. 181. Semantic principle that explains why 2 liters BD should not be correspondingly related in meaning to 22BD. The effect of SSC in 2 1 cannot be explained in terms of semantic incoherence or complexity of processing or the like.
because any such consideration should apply as well to the corresponding examples of 22. Or to put it differently, suppose that a language were like English except that SSC did not apply. In this language, 21 BD would be near synonyms of 22 BD, just as 2 liters A is a near synonym of 22 A. The language would be none the worse for that on any general functional grounds of comprehensibility, interpretability, and so on. The same would be true of a hypothetical language just like English except that SSC applied only when the specified subject is physically present, so that 2 liters B would be excluded but 2 liters C, D, quite gram oneitical, with, roughly, the meanings 22 C, D. It seems to be an empirical fact that SSC applies to physically present subjects and mentally present ones, trace. But there is no a priori reason why this should be so. It is a principle of English grammar and, it is fair to postulate, or vogue, since it is difficult to imagine that each person capable of these discriminations has been given explicit evidence or training that bears on them. There is, in fact, an appearance of paradox here. Thus, we might ask why SSC blocks the reciprocal rule and drive, but not the rule that relates each of the men to the others in 22 BD. It seems that we are compelled to formulate SSC as a rule of particular principle, this giving the unwanted, though not intolerable, theoretical consequence discussed before. In fact, this consequence is forced on us unless we can find a principal difference between the two cases. Is there such a difference? The answer is obvious. Reciprocal interpretation and doctor are rules of sentence grammar. The rule interpreting the others is not. Thus, compare the next two paired cases. 23. A. Some of the men left day. The others will leave later. A. Some of the men left day. Each other will leave later. B. Some of the articles are incomprehensible that we each expected John to understand the others. The apostrophe. Some of the articles are incomprehensible, that we expected John to understand each other. The examples, A and B apostrophe, are ungrammatical. The rule of reciprocal interpretation, being a rule of sentence grammar, is inapplicable in 182. Case, A, and is blocked by SSC in B apostrophe. The rule assigning an interpretation to the others, however, is not a rule of sentence grammar at all, as A indicates. Thus it is not subject to the conditions of sentence grammar, so that 23 A, B are as grammatical as 22 B, D. Note that it is strictly incorrect to imply, as I did, that 22 A is virtually synonymous with 2 liters A. In the case of 22a, we are not required to understand the phrase the other s, as referring to a set related through reciprocal interpretation to the set of the men. Thursday s, consider the following context. 24, each of the women likes some of the books, each of the men likes the others. Namely, the other books. In contrast, replacement of, each of the men, the others, by, the men, each other, in. 24, forces quite a different interpretation. Returning to the basic theory outlined earlier, the rules of reciprocal interpretation and doctor-relate derivations, in fact, surface structures, enriched to include traces, to LF, while the rule assigning an interpretation to the other S, belongs to an entirely different component of the system of cognitive structures relating LF and other factors to a full semantic representation. It might be quite appropriate to assign this rule to a theory of performance, pragmatics, rather than to the theory of grammar. In Chomsky, 1, 973, I pointed out that the rule S of an affair associating he with John in such sentences as 25, appear to violate otherwise valid condition S, a problem for the theory presented the 25 A. John thought that he would win. B. John thought that Bill liked him. Others have reiterated this point.
arguing that it undermines the theory outlined. But my observation was simply an error. The rule of anaphora involved in the normal but not obligatory interpretation of 25 should in principle be exempt from the conditions on sentence grammar, since it is no rule of sentence grammar at all. C.F. Lasnik, 1. 976. Consider again the operation of SSC. The context of application in the cases we are considering is 26. 26. NP. NPs. Y. 183. Where the rule is prevented from applying to the pair NP. Y. By virtue of the specified subject NPs. Several cases can be distinguished. 27. A. On P's has lexical content and is therefore not controlled by NP. B. NP's is a trace not controlled, bound, by NP. C. NP's is the interpreted subject of a complement suppose it to be the element PRO not controlled by NP. Corresponding to these three cases, we have such examples as 28 AC, respectable Y where the reciprocal rule is unable to relate the italicized phrases by virtue of SSC. 28. A. The man wanted John to like each other. B. John seemed to the man T to like each other. C. John promised the man P R O to like each other. In each case, N P equals the man. N P S is either John, as in A, or a zero morpheme controlled by John, trace in B and PRO in C. Thus in each case, the rule blocks by SSC. Notice that it is a lexical property of promise, as distinct, say, from persuade, that the subject of the matrix sentence, rather than the object, controls the subject of the embedded sentence. 25. Suppose that the subject of an embedded sentence is actually deleted, rather than assigned an interpretation as in the case. 28c. Matters become rather delicate at this point. We would expect that rules should apply over the deleted subject. There are, I think, good reasons to believe that many cases of so-called equi-e, g, in the complement of want type verbs involve deletion of an embedded subject. Assuming this to be true, for the moment, we well d then conclude that in the case of 29, a rule relating the book to a phrase outside of the brackets should apply freely, there being no specified subject. But in the case of 30 and 3 1, the phrase the book should be subject to a rule relating it to a phrase outside of the brackets only if this phrase is John, the controller of PRO. 29 John wants to read the book. 30 John promised Bill PRO to read the book. 3. 1. Bill persuaded John. P. R. wrote to read the book. Is O. N. This matter. C. J. Akandoff. 1. 972. 1. 976. And references cited T. Herein. And for an analysis of a number of cases I in terms of a theory of T. H. E. sought under discussion here. C. C. H. Omsky. 1. 973. 184. Thus, in principle, we should be able to find three and the kinds of cases in which there is a phonetically null subject of an embedded sentence, cases B and C of 27, and a case like 29, where the embedded subject is deleted. To summarize, we should have the following cases, where NPs is, again, the embedded subject and NP is the outside phrase involved in the rule. 32. A. NPs is a trace not bound by NP, equals, 27 B, B. On P's is PRO not controlled by NP, equals, 27 C, C. NPs is deleted by a transformation, equals, 29. In cases, 32 A, and, 32 B, the phonetically null subject should block application of rules, but in case, 32 C. It should not. To find actual examples bearing on, let alone verifying such predictions as these is no small task. Not only might the data be rather exotic and the subject's judgments 
one might expect difficult to evaluate, but furthermore, it is necessary to accept quite a few assumptions in assigning an analysis along the lines of 32 to given examples. In the present state of linguistic theory and its application, there are just too many unsolved problems and too many alternative approaches that cannot be conclusively rejected for particular propos a ls of such intricacy to a carry a high degree of conviction. Nevertheless, I would like to try to pursue the line of argument. We have already seen good reason to suppose that cases 32a and 32b operate as expected. Unfortunate ly, I have found no relevant examples in English to test 32c. However, some recent work of Carlos Quigley on clitic movement in Portuguese is highly suggestive. 26. The rule of clitic movement assigns a clitic from an embedded sentence to the verb of the matrix sentence. The rule observes the tense test condition, Thursday s, only infinitival complements are subject to clitic movement to the matrix verb. Consider now the case of SSC. We have such examples as the following one. 33. Paolo S. saw, T. examined the girl. Paolo knows the examiner. A grote Paolo saw us examine the girl. Here, the subject of the embedded sentence clitorizes to the matrix. 26. Quickly S. Study extends to clitic and quantifier movement I n other languages as well L. I am indebted to him for the examples that follow, which only touch the surface of the very interesting NG material he is developing. C. F. Kane. 1. 975. The presentation of some of the basic ideas and analyze S. regarding SSC. 185. Verb. On the other hand, we cannot have 34, in which the object of the embedded sentence clitorizes to the matrix verb, violating SSC. 34. Paolo S. saw. The specialist examined T1 Paolo knows who O a specialist to examiner Paolo saw the specialist examiners. Thus lexical subjects behave as expected. Suppose that WH movement has applied, giving such structures as FO L O W 3 5 A. The man who one Maria saw us examine T 111 disappeared B. The man who one Maria saw T1 examiners disappeared. Suppose we now apply clitic movement. We derive the next sentence. 36. The man who Maria saw examined disappeared. Zero. Homem K Maria knows who examiner saw mu. In fact, 36 has the meaning of 35A, but not 35B. Expressing the fact in terms of trace theory, we have the surface structure 37A but not 37b, 4, 36, 37a, the man who won Marius 2 saw, t2 examining t1, disappeared b, the man who won Marius 2 saw, t1 examined t2, disappeared. We can explain these facts in terms of SSC. The trace will block clitic movement applied to 35b, but not 35a. Thus lexical subjects and traces behaved as expected. Consider now the case of an interpreted subject, i.e., case 32b. As predicted, we do not find 38. 38a. The doctor us promised PR row to examine T1b. Paolo as convinced the doctor PR row to examine T1. Where T is the trace left by clitic movement. That is, the zero element PR row, just like trace, acts as a specified subject, as in English, locking clitic movement. Dash. Thus lexical subjects, traces and PR row behave as expected. As noted earlier, there is in principle another case of a phonetically null subject, the case of a deleted subject, namely, 32C. Thus in. 186. Principle, we might expect to find a matrix verb V with a complement sentence in which the subject is deleted as we have assumed to be true in the case of English want, and in such a case, we should expect clitic movement to be possible. 
In fact, taking V to be Kuro want, we find just these facts. Thus, we have 39, although the superstitiously comparable 38A is excluded. 39. The doctor asks wants to examine T. Zero medic o knows ka examiner. To summarize, lexical subjects serve to bring SSC into operation. Locking clitic movement with a clitic is distinct from the embedded lexical subject. Where the embedded subject is phonetically null L, we have the three cases of 32, trace, PRO, and deleted subject. Trace and PRO block the rule, as expected. But there is a null subject that does not block the rule, namely, aftikara. This example fills the gap in the paradigm, assuming that the subject is deleted in this case. SSC will not apply to block clitic movement. If this analysis withstands further investigation, we will have the striking conclusion that the three kinds of mentally present, physically missing subjects permitted in principle all are exemplified with the predicted behavior. Putting it differently, assuming SSC, we have an experimental probe to choose among proposed analyzers that postulate various choices among the various kinds of phonetically null subjects permitted in principle. There are many questions that can be raised about these analyzers. This is, however, the kind of inquiry that might be expected to give considerable insight into the formal properties of grammars and the general properties of the human language faculty that make language acquisition possible. Before we leave this topic, a few additional observations may be relevant. I mentioned that there are some reasons for believing that in English equi constructions with a verb won't actually involve deletion of the subject of the embedded sentence. A few observations may indicate why this is a plausible hypothesis. In the first place, there are phonological arguments for this conclusion. As is well known, the verb want followed by to undergoes elision, giving the form wanna from want to, thus. 40. A. You wanna see Bill L. B. Who do you wanna see? 187. But as has been noted, 27. 40. B is possible only when the WH word is understood to be the object, not the subject, of the embedded sentence. Thus, 40B can be derived from 41, but not 42. 41, you want X to see who, 42, you want who to see. Correspondingly, 43, deriving from 44, is impossible. 43, who do you wanna see Bill, 44. You want who to see bill. In our terms, we have the surface structures 45, 47, overlooking subject auxiliary inversion, which is irrelevant in this particular case. 45, 2, you want X to see T, underlying 4, 1, 46, 2, you want T to see, underlying 42, 47, 2, you want T to see bill, from 44. Of the structures, 45, 47, only 45, undergoes elision. Assume that elision involves a ruler joining the morpheme to want, with the form of and plus to then subject to elision by later phonological rules. But the adjunction rule will be blocked by any intervening morphological material, e. g. John in, 48, or the zero morpheme T in, 46, and 47. 48, you want, Joe how to see Bill. A zero morpheme is indistinguishable within syntax and morphology from other formatives. It is simply a terminal element that happens to be assigned an alphanetic representation by later rules. Thursday s, elision is impossible in, 46, and, 47, as in, 48. Correspondingly, 43, is impossible and, 40b can have only the meaning corresponding to 41. But for this explanation to carry through, we must assume that X in 45 is null on the morphological as well as the phonetic level, that I S, that I T I S not a zero morpheme but has been literally deleted. Thus we 27 C discussion in Beresnan L 97 1. 
for more on the Matt R. C. Baker and Brain. 1 972 Selkie RK 1 972 Lightfoot 1 975 B. Various approaches have been developed to account for the facts. It is difficult to compare these directly why, since they involve somewhat different assumptions with regard to the U and early Yang theory and particular analyses. 188. Have an indirect argument on phonological grounds for assuming that the embedded subject is deleted after want, while the trace remains at the morphological level, though it is phonetically null. There is corroborating evidence of a syntactic and semantic nature, although Oh, it is more complex. To sketch some relevant points briefly, it has been noted by Y. Howard Lasnik and Joan Bresnan that there are two general types of verbs with complements, with some intersection between the types, wanty type verbs, want, prefer, hope, and epistemic believe type verbs, believe, consider, imagine. Verbs of the want type take the complementizer for in the complement sentence, as in, 49, a fact sometimes obscured on the surface since it deletes immediately after the verb, obligatorily for some, want, and optionally for others, prefer, thus, 50, and, 5 1. 49, I want very much for Bill to win. 50, I want Bill to win. 5 1, I prefer, 4, Bill to win. Let us assume that epistemic verbs take a zero complementizer. With regard to reflexivization and equi, verbs middle dot of these types are in close to complementary distribution. Thus epistemic verbs undergo reflexivization but not equi, cf. 52, while want type verbs undergo equi but not reflexivization, though some speakers find reflexivization possible in some cases, cf. 53. 52. A. John believed himself to be incompetent, b. John believed to be incompetent, equi. 53, a. John wanted himself to be a contender, b. John much preferred for himself to be the candidate, c. John wanted to be a contender, equi. Both types of verbs undergo the rules of reciprocal interpretation, 1 6, and disgender scoroint reference. 1 7. 54. A. They believed each other to be incompetent. B. John believed him to be incompetent. John equals slash equals him. 55. A. They wanted each other to win. B. John wanted middle dot him to win. John equals T equals him. The two categories are also in complementary distribution with regard to NP movement. First we have. 56, but not, 57, 189, 56, John was believed, T to be incompetent, 57, John was wanted, preferred, T to win 28. The inapplicability of NP movement to the subject of the complement of want type verbs can be explained in terms of properties of the complementizer. I believe that it follows from a general surface constraint that excludes footer constructions although the issue need not concern us here. 29. The behavior of the two types of verbs with regard to reflexivization and equi can be easily explained on the assumption that reflexivization is free throughout, while there is a rule, 58, that is optional or obligatory, depending in part on style and perhaps dialect. 58, for x self, nel li, vp. When, 58, applies. We have the qui. The major facts follow directly from this rally, which can be formulated as a deletion transformation. 30. The arguments against as summing a qui to be a rule delete in a full NP seem to me compelling. The facts just reviewed suggest that a deletion rule neither the leases explains more than an interpretation rule of the sort that has sometimes been proposed. This analysis meshes easily with Halkes' analysis of base-generated reflexives, 197-1, which I think is correct in its essential s. For independent arguments in support of the similar conclusion, see Fodor, 
1975. Thus, in addition to the phonological arguments, there are a range of other considerations in support of the conclusion that the subject of the complement sentence to want type verbs is actually deleted, rather than just interpreted. We might go on to consider a general principle that NPS may be realized either as Piero or with lexical. 28. Note that want is partial ly defective in this respect even as a pure transitive verb, e.g. The hook was wanted, a man who is wanted by the police was here, any books wanted for this course can be obtained at the college bookstore. Other verbs of this category, e.g. prefer, are subject to np preposing as pure transitives, e.g. This solution is preferred by most people, the solution preferred by most people is this one, though examples such as, 57, are impossible. The fact is easily explained on the assumption that there is no rule of raising to object position, an assumption that I will continue to adopt here. C.F. Chomsky, 1973-1976. For a review of this question that seems to me generally convincing, C.F. Lightfoot, 1975-A. 29-B. Resnan who say anal si si gene rally follow here, postulates instead a condition on rules involving the complementizer, but I think that there are difficulties that suggest rather that a surface filter is involved. C.F. Bresnan, 1972. B. Resnan also assumes no complementizer instead of as row complementizer for epistemic verbs. 30. I suspect that rule. 59 actually results from the interaction of X self-deletion and rules preventing slash shorter constructions. 190. Material, but not in both ways. We might think of PRO as an optional feature on the category NP. NP can be expanded by rule less of the base only when it is PRO. This assumption would compel us to take the embedded subject to be PRO in 30 and, 3, 1, but to be an arbitrary lexically specified NP, one case being the base generated reflexive, after one type verbs, with for x say slash f deleted in the latter case to give, 29. The principle might be modified to permit interpretive analysis of gapping and other phenomena as discussed, e. g. in Wasau, forthcoming, Fengo, 1, 974 but I will not pursue this question here. Before we leave this topic, consider again the examples, 35, 37, which I repeat here as, 59, 61, 59, A. The man, a Juan Maria saw, us examine T1, disappeared B. The man, a Juan Maria saw, T1 examine us, disappeared. 60, the man who Maria saw examine disappeared. 61. A. The man, a uh, when Maria S2 saw, T2 examining T1, disappeared B. The man, a uh, when Maria S2 saw, T1 examining T2, disappeared. Recall that, 60, means, 59A, but not, 59B, that is, the surface structure, 6 liters A, is acceptable, giving, 60, but not, 6 liters B. We explained this, following quickly, by assuming that WH movement first applies, leaving a trace T1, which blocks clitic movement by SSC. On the assumption that WH movement is cyclic, we need not assume that WH movement on the cycle precedes clitic placement, since T1 will in any event be placed by WH movement in the internal cycle. Or, if we were to assume that WH movement applies only on the cycle A, following clitic placement, the latter rule would in any event be blocked by SSC with who in the position of T1 in 6 liters B. In this case we would HRV an instance of 27 A. In fact, we might once again choose to reinterpret SSC as A. Condition on surface structure reinterpretation rather than a condition on rules, 
along the lines discussed earlier. Then independently of any considerations involving ordering, the surface structure, 6 liters B, is blocked by SSC. We might also investigate the possibility of relating this interpretation of SSC to some general prohibition against anaphoric structures of the form, 62, rather than the permissible, 63, where items with the same subscript are anaphorically related, 62, underscore. 63. Dot. X1. X2. Y1. Y2. Dot. X. X21 middle dot middle dot. Y2 Y1. 191. It is not clear whether such a condition is tenable in general. Consider such examples as 64. 64. A. What books one have? Those men written T1 about each other, 2. B. I told them, 1. What books? 2. PRO 1. To read T2. C. 1. 1. Asked them, What books? 2. PR 0. 1. To read. 2. D. To whom? 1. Did John 2 seem T1, T2 to be referring? E. F. Whom 1 did does me 1 J today to high? Me two O two Raj Swakta one Zawahta one three T D two P thirty one R zero two two read T three Jana showed her to him today. But there are many unexplored possibilities, and it may be that some border principle may be involved. For some discussion of related ideas, see F. Board Lois one nine hundred and seventy four. For the moment. However, it seems to me reasonable to postulate SSC as a surface condition point 3 2. Let us now attempt to another class of cases related to some of the examples in 64. Consider the next two examples. 65. You told Bill who to visit you told BL1. Who to PRO1 to visit T2. 66. Who did you tell BL to visit who one you told BL2. T1, PRO2 to visit T1. The parenthesized trace in 66 is present under the analysis of WH movement in Chomsky 1973. For ease of exposition, let us assume that it is not present, although nothing hinges on this in the present context. The appropriate logical form for 65 and 66 should be essently. 67, and 68, respectively, assuming that an appropriate sense is given to the quantifier for which person x, 33, 67, you told Bill for which person x, Bill to visit x, 68, for which person x, you told Bill, Bill to visit x. We can obtain the logical forms, 67, and 68, from the sentences, 65. 3,321. This check example is from Taman, 1, 975. Examples such as those of 65, 66, do not violate SSC for our reasons discussed in Chomsky, 1, 973. The question whether SSC must also govern transformational rules is complex. C.F. Fengo and Lasnik, 1, 973, for an example suggesting that it must. 33 alternative Y, 4, 67, for Y equals Bill, you told Y for which person X, Y to visit X. And 4, 68, for Y equals Bill. For which person X, you told Y, Y to visit X, C, F, 7, 1, below, 192, and 66, respectively, by the following rules. 69, I, find the place from which who moved, 2, mark this position by X, 1, 11, interpret who as for which person X apostrophe, controlling the free variable X. 4. Determine control of the subject of the embedded verb, namely, 
as the object of the matrix sentence. Let us disregard step 4, assuming this to be determined by mechanisms discussed in Jack Endoff 1, 972. As for I3, if we consider the surface structures to be as represented in 65 and 66 to the right of dash in accordance with the trace theory, then steps I and 2 of 69 have already been accomplished in effect. Thus, to interpret these surface structures it suffices to carry out step 3 of 69, namely, to replace who by its meaning, for which person X. Hence, interpretation of the enriched surface structures IS direct. Thus, in these cases surface structures can be directly Y mapped into LF merely by replacement of quantifier words by their meanings with obvious notational conventions. We might proceed in the same way in the case of simple NP raising, as follows. 70. John seems to be a nice fellow. John seems, T, to be a nice fellow. The surface structure of 70 can be associated directly with the LF representation, 7, 1. 7, 1, for X equals John. X seems, X to be a nice fellow. We might then try to devise general rules of inference, truth conditions, etc., for such representations as 67, 68, and 7, 1. Recall again the discussion of 12, repeated as 72. 72. A. Beavers build dams. B. Dams are built by beavers. In the standard and extended standard theories, such examples were used to illustrate the fact that thematic relations are determined by deep structure configurations. First to understand 72b, we must know that dams is the object of build, as in 72a, j, used as in 70, we must 193. Know that John is subject of be a nice fellow. But under the trace theory, such examples as 70 and 72b do not choose between the theory of deep structure interpretation and set face structure interpretation, since the appropriate grammatical relations are also represented in their enriched set face structures. Since there is good evidence that some properties of LF are based on properties of set face structure, e.g., the subject predicate relation in 72c above, or the logical form of 65, and 66, both of which we may take as derived, essentially, from the deep structure you told Bill, com PR wrote to visit who, we might try to unify the theory of semantic interpretation by revising EST in accordance with the following principle. 73, set face structure determines LF. Let US look further into WH movement and its semantic interpretation turning to some cases discussed by Postal and reanalyzed by Wassau, forthcoming, whose analysis I adapt and somewhat modify here. Consider these sentences. 74. A. Who said Mary kissed him? B. Who did he say Mary kissed? C. Who said he kissed Mary? In 74. A. And 74. C. The pronoun he him can function as an anaphoric pronoun, referring to the person whose name answers the question, who. But in 74b, the pronoun functions essentially as a name, referring to someone whose identity is established elsewhere, as it may also under another interpretation of A and C. If we replace the pronoun by John in 74 cases, A and C keep the latter interpretation but lose the first, while case B keeps its single interpretation. Thus, under this replacement, we simply refer to the third person in a different way, by the name John instead of the pronoun he. To put it in a conventional but highly misleading way, in A and C, there is a relation of an aphora between who and he him, while in B, there is not. Consider the set face structures of 74 under the trace theory. They are, respectable y, 75ac, ignoring auxiliary inversion. 
75. A. Who? T. Said Mary kissed him. B. Who? He said Mary kissed T. C. Who? T. Said he kissed Mary. 194. Applying again the principles of interpretation for W. H. structures already outlined. C. F. 69. We replace who by its meaning, deriving. 76. A. For which person X. X. Said Mary kissed him B. For which person X. He said Mary kissed X C. For which person X. X. Said he kissed Mary. There are familiar general principles of anaphora, the exact character of which need not concern us, which dictate that the pronoun can be anaphoric to John in 77 and 79, but not 78. 77. John said Mary kissed him. 78. He said Mary kissed John. 79. John said he kissed Mary. Taking the bound variable X in 76 to function essentially as a name, the same principles of anaphora that govern 77, 79 require that no relation of anaphora can hold a fee in X in 76B, although such a relation may hold in 76A, 76C. Thursday S. We can account for the full range of interpretations in 74 by appeal to independently motivated principles of anaphora, again on the assumption, 72, that SUI face structure determines LF with the natural additional assumption that bound variables function to first approximation as names. We need not speak of a relation of anaphora between who and he him, which would be strictly meaningless since who is not a referring expression but a kind of quinative, nor need we invoke any principle beyond established principles of anaphora that apply in 77, 79. Our revised DST now has roughly this general structure. 80. B. Base structures. T. C1. Surface structures. LF. Other cognitive representations. SI2. Semantic representation. A more precise version of 80 would replace C with face structure by another notion, abstracting away from stylistic rules, e.g., scrambling, which may apply to give the actual C with face form of sentences. I ignore this matter here. That is, the base rules B generate base structures which are converted by the transformational component T to superface structures enriched with trace. The latter are interpreted by rules of semantic interpretation in C1, giving the representations LF. These along with 195. Other cognitive representations are associated with fuller representations of meaning by rules SI2. The rules CI are rules of sentence. Grammar, while the rules of SI2 are in general not. The distinction has already been discussed in connection with examples 2, 1, 24. We have now discussed several rules belonging to CI. 8 liters, I. Reciprocal interpretation. 2. Distinct reference, doctor. Point 111. 4. Replacement of who by its meaning conventions on control and variable binding. V. Conditions on anaphora. The rules, V, involved in 77, 79, and 76, a rule S of sentence grammar, which apply to such strictly sentence internal structures as reciprocals and reflexives, but C, F, N, 23. The rule S, V, apply to structures formed by rules 3 and 4, that is, to partially formed representations in LF. Thus we already have a degree of internal structure within CI. There are other reasons for supposing that the rules of enough apply to partially formed representations in LF rather than surface structures. Consider the discourses 82 and 83. 82. Every soldier has his orders. 83. A. Every soldier is armed, but will he shoot? B. Every soldier is armed, 
I don't think he'll shoot, though. See, if every soldier is armed, then he'll shoot. Sentence 82 can and normally be construed with the pronoun as anaphoric, bound, but in the examples of 83, the pronoun he must literally be construed, contrary to the obviously intended sense as referring to someone whose identity is established elsewhere. 34 in our 34 The literal meaning is contrary to the obviously intended sense, hence, the latter may actually be assigned in discourse, as in the case of other deviant structures. But I think that the correct interpretation is as P resented here. Suppose every IS replaced by each in 83. Then the construal of the structures in the intended sense is perhaps somewhat easier, at least in A and C. The quantifier each permits us to dissociate the individual S under consideration for the purposes of an afro outside the scope of the quantifier, at least more readily than ITS nears in an EME vary. Replacement of Eve one Y by all makes the structures still more deviant in the intended sense. Both the complications arise as we consider our other connectives. Compare as soon as every student finishes his exam, he is to hand it in, he not anaphoric, as soon as each student finishes his exam, he is to hand it in, possible, with anaphoric he, and of course a completely different interpretation of the quantifier than in as soon as Eve when Y student finishes his exam, the lights will be put out. In all of these cases, his, being within the scope of the quantifier, can be, and normally would be, anaphoric. Further complications are many but do not, I think, affect the central point under discussion here. C.F. Croc. 1974. For more discussed cyan. 196. Terms. The fact is easily explained. Quantification is generally clause bound. Thus the rules C1 involving quantifiers and variables give the structures 84, 4, 82, and 85, 4, 83. 84, for all X, X a soldier, X has his orders. 85, A, for all X, X a soldier, X is armed, but will he shoot B? For all X, X a soldier, X is armed. I don't think he LL shoot, though see, if, for all X, X a soldier, X is armed, then he less hoot. As has often been observed, there is one quantifier, namely any, that includes within its scope a logical operator dominating it in surface structure. The role for an interpretation, which is rather complex and not fully understood, cf. fn. 39, first gives. 87, as the representation for, 86. 86, if any soldier is armed, then he'll shoot. 87, for all X, X a soldier, if X is armed then he apostrophe to shoot. In the partial logical forms, 85, and, 87, brackets bound the phrase within the scope of the universal quantifier. The rules of an afferent do not permit a pronoun that is outside the scope of a quantifier to be assigned an anaphoric relation to a bound variable within this scope, but see fn. 34, thus, 82, and, 86, have, 88, and, 89, respectively, as permissible interpretations. 88, for all x, x a soldier, x has excess orders, 89, for all X, X a soldier, if X I S alm then X will shoot. But in the examples of 85, such interpretations are excluded, as the corresponding interpretations were excluded in the case of 78 and 74 B equals 76 B. The analysis requires that the scope of quantification be determined prior to application of the principle of anaphora. In other words, here too, the principle of anaphora, equals, 81V, applies to partially determined logical forms, with quantifier scope and variable binding determined.
this analysis is pretty much along the lines of standard logical analysis of the sentences of natural language. A rather different approach has recently been suggested within the framework of Montague Grammar. 35 with the motivation of relating surface stroke. 35 for a clear and simple exposition, see Lewis, 1, 972, and for much more detail, Part E, 1, 975. 197. To and semantic representation more closely, it is suggested that the sentences, 90, all with the set face structure NPVP, have essentially the same logical representation, at some level. 90. A. John is here. B. Every soldier is here. C. Some soldier is here. This result is achieved by associating each individual with the set of its properties, its character. Then we may interpret 90 as stating that the property of being here is a member of the character of John. 90 A, a member of the intersection of the characters of all soldiers. 90 B, a member of the union of characters of all soldiers. 90 C. In contrast, a standard logical analysis might assign to 90. The analyses, 9-1, or taking a noun phrase to specify a type variable 92. 9-1, A. Here, John, B. For all X, if soldier, X, then here, X, C. For some X, soldier, X, and here, X. 92, A. Here, John, B. For all, X, X, a soldier, here. X, C. For some X, X, a soldier, here, X. I am ignoring here the question of specificity of indefinites. We have essentially been assuming, 92, so far. Under the interpretations, 91, or, 92, the sentence, 90A, is given a very different analysis from, 90B, C. It is difficult to find an empirical test for these varying logical analyses, but if we take them literally, it seems that Montague grammar and standard analysis should make a different prediction for the case where the sentences of 90 appear in such contexts as 83, say, 93. 93. A. John is here. Will he shoot? B. Every soldier is here. Will he shoot? C. Some soldier is here. Will he shoot? Since John, every soldier, and some soldier understood to have the same logical status in Montague grammar, the prediction should be that they function in a parallel way in 93. But this is false. In 93a, he may be anaphoric, while in 93b, it may not. And in 93c, while there is, arguably, a relation of anaphora, it is quite different. 198. And considerably more complex than the relation observed in earlier examples. Thus, he does not have the semantic function of some soldier, but rather refers to that soldier, whoever he may be, who is identified as here in the first sentence. 36. In the classical theories as extended earlier, I. E. With the anaphora rule applying to partially specified LF and quantification clause bound in the case of every and some, the discourse, 93A, has an entirely different status from 93B and 93C. In 93A, the pronoun he simply refers to John, and under one central interpretation can be replaced by John without change of meaning. Point 37 in the other two cases. Such an anaphora relation cannot hold, because he is outside the scope of the quantifier. It is strictly meaning ills s, in the classical approach, for he to have an anaphoric relation to every soldier or some soldier, non-specific. This conclusion seems to me correct so far as it goes. It does not yet account for 93c, or the example s of notes 34 and 36. Thus there would seem to be empirical confirmation for the classical analysis over Montague grammar in a rather small area where they have different predictions, if taken to have empirical content. The behavior of anaphoric pronouns indicates that the logical structure of 
90A is quite different from 90B, C, and also that the principles of an aphor apply to a partially developed logical form, not to set face structure S. Returning now to the main theme, let us consider some of the more complex examples of WH movement and anaphora discussed by Postel and Wassau. Consider the sentence, 94. 94. Who did the woman he loved betray? By the principles so far proposed, this should be assigned there. 36 complications mount trapid y as we move to sentences with two quantifiers or to plurals. Thus consider, some soldiers have guns. Will they shoot them? We might want to say that they is anaphoric to some soldiers and them to guns, but the question asks whether each soldier who has a gun will shoot the gun that he has, not whether some soldiers will shoot gun s. 3 7 The same conclusion holds I in multiclause sentences, although the substitution of John for he is lay s natural or impossible. John is here, but will he shoot? If John is here, then he will shoot. In the latter case, and perhaps the former as well L, substitution of John for he seems to me to impose disjunct reference. It seems that the rule applying here is not a rule of sentence grammar but is rather a rule assigning a higher degree of preference to disjoint interpretation the close of the grammatical connection. Thursday s, substitution of John for H-E-I s difficult I-N, 93 A, disjunct reference I s preferred, but it would be strange to use the same name, John, in a simple successive sentences with difference of reference. In contrast, substitution of every soldier for he in. 93b, and some soldier for he in, 93c, changes the interpretation radical y. 199. Representation, 95, which can be converted to the LF, 96. 95, for which person x, the woman he loved betrayed middle dot x, 96, for which person x, the woman x loved betrayed x. Conversion of, 95. 2, 96, does not appear to violate the conditions, 8 1 v, on anaphora, compare, 97, where he may be anaphoric to John, 97, the woman he loved betrayed John, but, 96, is not a possible interpretation of, 94, why not, Wursau notes that, while the general precedent command con, conditions of anaphora do not require that the pronoun be non-anaphoric in, 97. Nevertheless, some constraint prevents an anaphoric relation from holding between the italicized phrases of 98. 98. The woman he loved betrayed someone. Suppose that we establish a subsidiary principle of anaphora that prevents a phrase X from serving as antecedent to a pronoun to its left when this phrase is indeterminate, where someone is indeterminate then it will follow that an anaphoric relation cannot hold in, 98, though it can in the following example. 99, someone was betrayed by the woman he loved. Returning to, 94, it has often been noted that there are striking similarities between WH questions and indefinites. Pursuing this analogy, Wursau suggests that the trace left by WH movement should share with indefinites the property of indeterminateness. Then, it will follow that, 95, cannot have the interpretation of, 96, as required. There are some problems with this suggestion. As in the case of, 74, it is misleading to speak of an anaphoric relation between someone and he in, 98, since someone, a like who is not referential. Furthermore, the property of determinateness is not an easy one to characterize, as Wassau points out. The cases to be covered are fairly clear and definite, apart from specific and generic, the trace left by WH movement in questions and relatives but it is not clear just what semantic property these cases might have in common. Thus, in the case of relatives, the analogy between WH structures and indefinites breaks down and the WH element even seems to have something of the character of a definite noun phrase CQ Roder, 1968. 
at bear. 200. Trace behaves as in questions. CF. 100, which cannot have the interpretation. 10 1, just as. 94, cannot have the interpretation. 96. 100, the man who the woman he loved betrayed, is despondent. 10 1, the man X such that the woman X loved betrayed X, is despondent. What how does give some reason to believe that in restrictive relatives the head is indeterminate, but the matter is quite unclear, as is the question how this property, whatever it may be exactly, inheres in the trace. We can overcome all of these difficulties by revising Wasawa's theory along the lines of our earlier discussion. Again, let US assume that the rules, 8 liters I4, of C1 apply to the surface structures of 94 and 100 to give 102 and 103 respectively. 38 assume also that 98 is analyzed by a familiar rule to give 104, 102, 103, 104. For which person X, the woman he loved betrayed X, the man X such that the woman he loved betrayed X, is despondent for some X, the woman he loved betrayed X. Whatever the rules of an aphora may be, they should treat the bracketed phrases in 102, 104, in the same way, since they are identical. Thus, 94, 100, and 98, should have parallel interpretations, as in fact they do. It remains only to determine the subsidiary principle of an aphora that is involved in all of these cases. Assume it to be 105. 105, a variable cannot be the antecedent of a pronoun to its left. Suppose that someone I, N, 98, I, S replaced B, Y, anyone. The sentence as it stands is not well formed. It becomes well formed in the context 106. 106. If the woman he loved betrayed anyone, he will be despondent. 38. On rules for relativization, see Chomsky, 1975A, and for a detailed analysis along. These islands, Vergnaud, 1974. 21. By the any rule mentioned earlier, the scope of any includes if, so the first stage logical form should be. 10739. I 07. For every person X, if the woman he loved betrayed X, then he will be despondent. If principle 105 is correct, then the leftmost occurrence of he cannot have X as antecedent, though the rightmost may. Thursday S, apart from the reading in which neither occurrence of he in 106 is anaphoric, the only interpretation of I06 should be I08, where X is not the antecedent of he, that is, an interpretation analogous to I09. I08. 109. For every person X, if the woman he loved betrayed X, then X will be despondent for every person X, if the woman John loved betrayed X, then X will be despondent. I think I can convince myself that this is correct but without much faith in the conclusion. We may think of the principle I05 as part of a rule replacing a pronoun by a variable at some level of the derivation that will ultimately specify LP. We have given insufficient evidence to determine the rule in detail. Let us take it to assert middle dot that a pronoun P within the scope of a quantifier may be rewritten as the variable bound by this quantifier unless P is to the left of an occurrence of a variable already bound by this quantifier. This rule will be one part of the more comprehensive convention specifying enough relations in partially developed logical forms. For ease of reference, let us call the rule in question A, anaphora. The rule applied to 110, underlying, 112, will give, 111, optionally, 110, for some X, X was betrayed by the woman he loved, 111, for some X, X was betrayed by the woman X loved, 112, someone was betrayed by the woman he loved.
39 on the rule of interpretation for any C. Hintiger, 1. 975. A somewhat be similar proposal is mentioned in Lasnik, 1. 972. Hintiker argues that violations of composition ality, as illustrated in 87 and I07, constitute counterexamples to Phrygian theories of meaning and to theories of the sort suggested by Davidson and Montague. He also points out that any sentences provide counterexamples to the criterion of material adequacy for a truth definition of the tasky type. Under his formulation of the any rule, it also follows, as he shows, that the class of well-formed sentences is not recursive or even recursively innumerable. But I think that the re are other formulations that cover the clear facts as well that do not lead to this conclusion, although there are, perhaps, other and simple are examples that lead to conclusions s i mele to his with regard to the set of sentences were well formed by some plausible criterion. 202. But it cannot apply to the pronoun he in the structures, 1, 1, 3, 1, 1, 3, a for which X, the woman H.E. loved betrayed X, underlying, 94. B. For some X, the woman he loved betrayed X, underlying, 98. C. The man X such that the woman he loved betrayed X, is despondent, underlying, 100. The reason is that A obeys condition, 105. Notice that the ruler is oblivious to the source of the variable in 1, 1, 3, that prevents it from applying. In the case of 1, 1, 3, A, and 1, 1, 3, C, the variable is introduced by a syntactic movement rule, under the trace theory. In 1, 1, 3, B, the variable is introduced by a rule of semantic interpretation belonging to C1. The sentences for which these are the underlying structures are quite different in form and in set face structure, but alike in semantic representation at the stage following the rule that assigns to someone its meaning. It is at this stage, it appears, that A applies. Thus A is local, like other rules of grammar, in that it applies to the last step of the derivation so far constructed paying no heed to the original source of the elements that determine how the rule applies. We noted earlier the two-bound variable, as in 1, 1, 3, behaves quite differently from a name in the same position, as in 1, 1, 4, equals 97. 1, 1, 4, the woman he loved betrayed John. Thus in 1, 1, 4, the rules of anaphora A can associate and John. But a qualification is necessary. In 114, the ruler can associate he and John only if the main stress is on betray. If the main stress is on John, then the word cannot serve as the antecedent of he. First stress on John gives the word essentially the status of a bound variable. What is the explanation for this fact? A possible explanation is this. Consider the rule of C1 that determines the focus of a sentence. Consider the simplest cases, for example, 115 and 116, where capitalization indicates main stress. 115, Bill likes John. 116, Bill likes John. Let us say that a rule focus assigns to 115 the representation 117. 203 and 2, 1, 1, 6, the representation, I, I, 8, I, I, 7, the X such that Bill likes X, is John, 1, 1, 8, the X such that X likes John, is Bill. We may take, I, I, 7, and, I, I, 8, to be partially developed logical forms, informally presented, a, S such, they seem to give an accurate representation of an important aspect of semantic representation in a natural way. The rule focus applied to II4, with main stress on John gives. II9, the X such that the woman he loved betrayed X, is John. But observe that the rule A that replaces he by X cannot apply to II9, it is blocked by the principle IO5, 
exactly as in the examples of II3. In contrast, the rule would not have been blocked had main stress been on betray rather than John in II4. Thus we find still another instance of IO5. It applies in the case of the trace of a movement rule E. G. I. I. 3. A. C. The variable introduced by interpretation of existential and universal quantifiers E. G. I. I. 3. B. And the variable introduced by the rule focus E. G. I. I. 9. Thus, a number of disparate phenomena fall together, giving an interesting range of empirical evidence bearing on the nature of LF. Notice that it makes quite a different SWOT notation we choose for representing phenomena in LF, just as it matters what phenomena we take to belong to LF. These are by no means questions of convention to be resolved by fiat or convenience for one or another purpose, so it appears. Rather, they can and should be interpreted as empirical questions that can be subjected to test, I believe. The examples just reviewed give independent support for the general conclusions proposed earlier. The rules of CI apply to an enriched surface structure E, including trace, giving an analysis in terms of quantifiers and bound variables. Further rules of CI, those of anaphora, assign these representations a specific range of more explicit representations within LF. 40 These examples enhance their 40. These considerations again seem to me to support the classical logical analysis over the revision suggested by Montague, if we take these as theories with empirical import. With regard to anaphora, a good IND occasion of ref tree and shill function, the noun phrases someone and everyone behave very different away from names or definite descriptions, as the classical theory, taken literally, predicts. And furthermore, the rules of enough apply to a logical form that contains quantifiers and variables rather than to a surface structure. 204. General plausibility of the conception sketched in 80, and in particular, the trace theory of movement rules, which we have motivated quite independently in earlier discussion. I cannot review here other evidence bearing on these assumptions. 41. The preceding discussion illustrates some of the ways in which we might hope to overcome the difficulties that immediately face a theory of transformations that is radically limited in expressive power. We may try to discover narrower conditions on base structure S, conditions on application of rules, and conditions on surface structure. Under EST, principles of semantic interpretation, at least those of CL, would be expected to relate very closely, in many cases, to conditions on base and surface structures, particularly surface structures, if the revision of ESD suggested here proves to be essentially correct. It may be that conditions on transformations can be assimilated to conditions on surface structures and, in the best case, to independently motivated rules of semantic interpretation under the trace theory. I do not mean to suggest that the problems that lie in the way of developing a theory with restricted expressive power, along the lines sketched at the outset, have been overcome. But I think that there has been encouraging progress. I am inclined to think that the program outlined is feasible and that the general approach I have been reviewing may prove to be well founded. If we pursue this approach further, we find, I believe, that the rules of sentence grammar fall into several distinct types. At the core of syntax we have the two rules of 120, each of considerably broader scope than has hitherto been imagined. 120, I. NP movement 2. WH movement. The rule of NP movement appears superficially to violate Sibber Sensi, CF. E. G. John seems to be likely to win, while it observes SSC the tense test condition, and other constraints. The explanation is that the rule is cyclic and bounded, observes subjacency. The rule of WH movement, which may involve several subtypes, seems superficially to violate subjacency, SSC, and the tense test condition while observing the complex noun phrase constraint and other island conditions. 
The explanation is that the rule is cyclic and 41 for discussion, see Chomsky, 1975b, and references cited there, particularly, Fango, 1974. Uh, also, Van Rimes Dick, 1973, Jack Endoff, 1975, quickly, 1975. 1976, Lightfoot, 1975 b. 205. Bounded, while movement is permitted from complementizer position in a tense test, depending on the nature of the matrix verb. From these assumptions, it follows that 120 has its familiar properties. C.F. Chomsky, 1973. 1975b. Included I in this category, I believe, are the rules involved in formation of direct and indirect WH questions, relatives, topicalization, cleft, comparative S, and a variety of infinitival complement construction S. But this proposal remains to be explained and justified. Interpretive rules may violate subjacency but otherwise generally observe SSC and tense test condition, although there are some problems, cf. fn. 23. Other movement rules, such as clitic movement, prepositional phrase movement and quantifier movement, seem to observe subassensi and other constraints, cf. Akmagian, 1975, Thango and Lasnik, 1973, Kane, 1975, quickly, 1975, 1976. Root transformations and minor movement rules are as described in Immens, 1976. There are also Husser keeping rules such as, for example, those that govern deletion of complementizers. Other rules have quite different properties, e.g., agreement rules which have something of the character of phonological rules of matching of feature matrices, scrambling and other stylistic rules, which are not readily formulable as transformations at all, and others. This is not intended as a comprehensive or precise analysis, needless to say. I think that 120 may constitute, in a certain sense, the core of cyclic grammar, determining an enriched surface structure that is close in interesting respects, to logical form. It may be possible to devise an alternative to transformational grammar in which rules of the type 120 are regarded as interpretive 42 but meeting conditions quite different from those observed by the rules here called interpretive. Thursday s, we would have three types of rules for interpreting base generated structures including traces, rules with the properties of 120i, and, 120, with the cyclic interactions and the properties just outlined, and rules of anapora, etc., that have the properties sketched i n foregoing analysis. If this speculation is correct, we should be able to move to a more abstract characterization of linguistic systems. Adopting a point of view from which much of the core of transformational grammar will be seen to be simply one concrete realization of a set of abstract conditions that characterize the human language faculty. 42 CF. Chomsky, 1973, for a brief comment. 206. The pure study of language, based solely on evidence of the sort reviewed here can carry us only to the understanding of abstract conditions on grammatical systems. No particular realization of these conditions has any privileged status. From a more abstract point of view, if it can be attained, we may see in retrospect that we moved towards the understanding of the abstract general conditions on linguistic structures by the detailed investigation of one or another concrete realization, for example, transformational grammar, a particular instance of a system with these general properties. The abstract conditions may relate to transformational grammar rather in the way that modern algebra relates to the number system. 
we should be concerned to abstract from successful grammars and successful theories those more general properties that account for their success, and to develop who gas a theory of these abstract properties, which might be realized in a variety of different ways. To choose among such realizations, it will be necessary to move to a much broader domain of evidence. What linguistics should try to provide is an abstract characterization of particular and universal grammar that will serve as a guide and framework for this more general inquiry. This is not to say that the study of highly specific mechanisms, e.g., phonological rules, conditions on transformations, etc., should be abandoned. On the contrary, it is only through the detailed investigation of these particular systems that we have any hope of advancing towards a grasp of the abstract structure s, conditions and properties that s should someday constitute the subject matter of general linguistic theory. The goal may be remote, but it is well to keep it in mind as we develop intricate specific theories and try to refine and sharpen them in detailed empirical inquiry. References. Akmagian, A. 1. 975. More evidence for an NP cycle. Linguistic Inquiry 6. 1. 1530. Bark, E. 1. 965. On some recurrent types of transformations. In 16th Annual Round Table Meeting on Linguistics and Language Studies. Georgetown University Monograph Series on Languages and Linguistics 18C. W. Cradler, Ed. Baker, C. L. Ampirain, M. K. 1972. Global Rules, or a Joinder. Language 4851-75. Ford Lois, I. 1974. The Grammar of Spanish Causative Complements. Doctoral Dissertation, MIT. 207. B. Rame, M. K. 1. 976. Conjectures and Refutations in Syntax and Semantics. New York, Elsevier North Holland. B. Resnan, J. 197-1. One. Contraction and the Transformational Cycle in English. Mimeograph. MIT. Dot. 1. 972. Theory of Complementation by N. English Syntax. Doctoral Dissertation. MIT. Dot. 1. 973. Sentence to SS and S Syntactic Transformations. In Approaches to Natural Language. K. J. J. Hintiker. J. M. E. Moravksik and P. Sapes, Eds, Dordrecht, Holland, Rydell, Dash, in Press, Transformations and Categories in Syntax, in Proceedings of the 5th International L Congress on Logic, Methodology, and Philosophy of Science, University of Western Ontario, London, Ontario, 1975, R. Beutz and J. Hintiker, Eds. Dot, 1. 976. On the form and functioning of transformations. Linguistic Inquiry 7. 340. Chomsky, N. 1955. The Logical Structure O. F. Linguistic Theory. Mimeograph. Published in large part in 1. 975 as the Logical Structure of Linguistic Theory. New York. Plenum. Dot. 196.1. O. N. The Notion. Rule of Grammar, in Structure of Language and its Mathematical Aspects. Proceedings of the Symposia in Applied Mathematics, Volume 12. American Mathematical Society, Providence, R. I. Press. 1. 965. Aspects of the Theo and Y of Syntax, Cambridge, Mass S. MIT. 1. 972. Studies on semantics in generative grammar. The Hague, Mouton. Dot. 1. 973. Conditions O N transformations. In a festschrift for Morris Halley. S. R. 
Anson and P. Fipaski, Eds. New York, Holt, Reinhardt and Winston. SA3, above. Dot, 1975A. Questions of form and interpretation. Linguistic analysis I, 75107. SA, above. Dot, I 975B. Reflections on language. New York, Pantheon. Chomsky, N. And Halley, M. 1 968. Sound pattern of English. New York, Harper and Row. Chomsky, N. And Miller, G. A. 1 963. Introduction to the formal anal size of natural languages. In Handbook of Mathematica L. Psychology, Volume I. I. R. D. Luce, R. R. Bush, and D. Galanta, Eds. New York, John Wiley. pp. 41991. Doherty, R. C. 1974. The syntax and semantics of each other constructions. Foundations of language 1 to 1 to 48. 1 975. Reflections on the Bielumfeldian counter revolution. International L Journal of Dravidian Linguistics L. No. 2 255 86. Immens. J. E. 1 976. A transformational approach to syntax, root and structure preserving transformations. New York, Academic Press. 208. Fango, R. 1974. Semantic conditions on surface structure. Doctoral dissertation, MIT. Fango, R. And Lasnik, H. 1973. The Logical Structure of Reciprocal Sentences in English. Foundations of Language 9, 447, 68. Dot, 1, 976. Some Issues in the Theory of Transformations. Linguistic Inquiry 7, 182-19 liters. Fodor, J. A. 1, 975. The Language of Thought. New York, C. Rowell. Halk, M. 197-1. The Grammar of English Reflex Ives. Doctoral Dissertation, MIT. Hintiker, J. 197-5. O. N. The Imitations O. F. Generative Grammar. M. I. Miograph, Stanford. Pornstein, N. 1975. S. And the X Convention. Montreal Working Papers in Linguistics 4, 35 7, 1. Jack Endoff, R. S. 1, 972. Semantic Interpretation in Generative Grammar. Cambridge, Mass., MIT Pre-SS. Dash. 1, 975. Tough and the Trace Theory of Movement Rules. Linguistic Inquiry 6. 437 446 dash 1 976 toward an explanatory semantic representation linguistic inquiry 7 89 150 cats j j 1 972 semantic theory middle dot new york harper and row forthcoming propositional structure a study of the contribution of sentence meaning to speech a CTS. New York, Ciro LL. Katz, J. J. And Bever, T. G. 1 976. The Fallel and Rise of Empiricist M. In Integrated Theory of Linguistic Knowledge, T. G. Bever, J. J. Katz, and D. T. Langendone. Eds. New York, Growell. Katz, J. J. And Postal, P. M. 1 964. An Integrated Theory of Linguistic Descriptions, Cambridge, Mass. MIT Press. Kane, R. S. 
1975. French Syntax, The Transformation of L Cycle. Cambridge, Mass, MIT Pre-SS. Croc, A. 1974. The Semantics of Scope I N English. Doctoral Dissertation, MIT. Curoda, S. Y. 1968. English Relativization and Certain Related Problems. Language 44, 244, 66. Dash. 1973. Where Epistemology, Style, and Grammar Meet, a Case Study from Japanese. In a Fest Shrift for Morris Halley, S. R. Anderson and P. Kipaski, Eds. New York, Holt, Reinhardt and Winston. P. 377.91. Labov, W. 1970. The Logic of Non Standard English. In the Politics of Literature, Louis Kampf and Paul Lauter, eds. New York, Pantheon. Lukov, G. 197.1. O. N. Generative Semantics. In a Semantics, an Interdisciplinary Reader, D. Steinberg and Dell. Jakubowicz, eds. New York, Cambridge University Press. 209. Lasnik, H. 1972. Analyses of Negation in English. Doctoral Dissertation, MIT. 1976. Remarks on Coefference. Linguistic Analysis 2, 1 minus 22. Lewis, D. 1972. General Semantics. In a Semantics of Natural Language. G. Harmon and D. Davidson, Eds. Dordrecht, Holland, Rydell. pp. 169218. Lightfoot, D. L. 975A. The Theoretical Implications of Subject Raising. Foundations of Language 1 3. 115431975B Traces and doubly moved NPs Mimeograph Parrot H. Ed. 1974 Discussing Language The Hague, Mouton Party B. 1975 Montague Grammar and Transformational Grammar Linguistic Inquiry 6 203 300. Peters, P. S. and Ritchie, R. W. 1973. On the generative power of transformational grammars. Information Sciences 6. 4983. Postal, P. M. 1972. The Best Theory. In Goals of Linguistic Theory, P. S. Peters, Ed. Englewood Cliffs, N. J. Prentice Hall. Dash. 1976. Avoiding reference to subject. Linguistic Inquiry 7. 151 to 181. Quickly, A. C. 1975. Conditions on quantifier movement I N French. Mimeograph, MIT. 1976. Clitic movement in Portuguese. Linguistic analysis 2, 199 223. Ros S. J. R. 1967. Constraints on variables in syntax. Doctoral dissertation, MIT. 1973. Now S. In three dimensions of linguistic theory. O. Fujimura, ed. Tokyo. Tech Company, 1975. Where to do things with word S. I N Syntax and Semantics, Volume 3, P. Cole and J. Morgan, Eds. New York, Academic Press. Selkia K. E. O. 1972. The Phrase Phonology of English and French. Doctoral Dissertation, MIT. Soames. S. 1974. Rule orderings, 
obligatory transformations, and derivational constraints. Theoretical Linguistics 1, 11638. Taman, J. 1, 975. Phenomenal Clitics in Czech. Mimeograph, MIT. Van Rijmsdijk K. H. 1, 973. A Case for a Trace, Preposition, Stranding in Zeritich. Mimeograph, Amsterdam. Vergnord, J. R. 1, 974. French Relative Clauses. Doctoral Dissertation, MIT. Wassau, T. Forthcoming. Anaphora in Generative Grammar. 210. Index. A over A con D D on, 84, 87, 102, 104, 106, 109, 111113, 122, 127, Acceptability, determination of, 106. Acquisition model. C language acquisition. Adequacy, empirical descriptive. 19, 20, 37, 42, 56, explanatory, 4, 37, 42, 44, 46, 56, 164. Adverb preposing, 53, 54, agency, 118, 124, 143, 167, 177, agent, deletion, 143, 151 agreement, 206 Acmagia N, A, 138, 206 Ambiguity, 67, 69, 95, 137 Anal Eticity, 35, 36 Anal Ability, Conditions on, 82, 83, 141, 172, 173 Anathora, 94, 194, Bound, 9, 10, 20, 176, 179 Conditions on, 1, 9, 1, 192, 200 to 203 Rules of, 183, 195, 202, 204, 206 Andrews, A, 66 Ask Type, Verbs, 147, 150 192. Asymmetry of rules. 139 Ostian. J. L. 30 Autonomy Thesis. 38. 40. 42. 52. 55. 57. 166 Absolute. For 146. 47. 50. 52. 56. 57. 58. Parametrized. 42. 43. 45. 57, 58 Auxiliary Inversion, 98, 135, 140, 188. Bark, E, 83, 97, 174 Baker, L, 83, 88, 101, 139, 156, 188 Barhillel, Y, 44 Base Component, 5, 55, 58, 168. 195 Belief and Knowledge System, 3, 3, 5, 40, 42, 166, 170, 178. Belief Type, Verbs, 103, 146, 147, 150, 189, 190, Bever, T, 143, 144. 166. B. Audloy S. I. 192 Bowers, J. 113 Brain, M. 166, 170, 188 Bresnan, J. 6, 10, 72, 83, 87, 88, 98, 117, 126, 129, 136, 139, 151. 152, 156, 166, 168, 170, 171, 188, 189, 190. Case Assignment, 135 Category. 
cyclic. 55, 97, 103, 104 grammatical versus. Notional, 26 to 29 major, 10 1 minimal major law, 101, 106, 108, 116, 125 variable, 171 category symbols. 17 1 clitic movement, 184, 186, 187, 191, 206 cognitive structures, 3 5, 33, 36, 37, 40, 166, 183, 196 command, 10, 200 comparative delta on, 113 competence, grammatical, 4, 25 to 26. 3 2 36 144 164 See also language faculty human complementizer deletion 206 complementizer substitution universal 83 86 87 98 139 complex non-terminal symbol 151 complex noun phrase constriente 70 104 one one two one one three one twenty two hundred and five compositionality three one forty nine conditions on applicability of rules one nine one oh five one sixty seven one seventy four one seventy five on form eight one eighty two one sixty three one hundred and seventy three on function eight one eighty four 163 nature of 1920 2 1 67 175 181 206 to 207 on output of rules 179 see also names of particular conditions conjunct movement 86 21 1 construal rules of 6 1 9 20 control rules of 1114 for persuade and for promise 1314 1141 184 see also pr0 control of call grammar 6 1 9 call reference assignment 8 9 crossover principle 130 cule cover p 87 cycle and subjacency 55 97 103, 104, 106, 176 strict, 6, 97, 100, 102, 165 transformational, 5, 6, 10, 97, 99, 103, 105, 119, 133, 144 passing, 176, 205, 206. Cyclicity principle of bounded, 77 1 of rules, 6, 20, 55, 115, 205, 206. Deep structure, 5, 57, 58, 144, 165, 166, 167 and interpretation, 193, 194. Definite noun phrases, 29. 47, 52, 92, 200 derivation, 165. Constraints on, 136, 170 extended to logical form, 9, 1, 0, 17, 8, 3, 166 dictionary, 36, 42, 43, 57, 58. Disjoint reference, 179, 180, 182. 183, 189, 199, Doherty, R, 86, 90, 91, 115, 122, 123, 140, 166, each, insertion, 99, 1 each, movement, 91, 103, 106, 108, 109 110 111 114 115 122 123 124 130 132 134 135 immense 
J E six eight eight three eighty seven one thirty five one thirty eight one hundred and forty two one hundred and forty three one seven three one hundred and seventy seven two hundred and six empirical issues one six thirty four see also adequacy empirical linguistic theory the goal of equian p deletion 120 157 184 187 190 evaluation measure 45 84 85 existential qualification 39 51 extended standard theory 5 18 58 59 91 166 193 205 revised 167 194 195 205 206 extraction rules 87 89 137 139 conditions on 104 107 108 112 127 see also subjacency condition extraposition 138 142 170 Foglia G R 116 Fact and Belief See Belief and Knowledge Systems Factives 104 Factorization 8283 141 168 174 Condition of Minimal 172 174 Feature S Categorical 170 Contextual 103 Distinctive 64 82 Lexical 168 percolation of 140 rule 57 selectional 56 syntactic 143 Fango R 10 59 75 170 171 172 176 179 191 192 205 206 Fillmore C 6 Filter, surface, C, S, U, face, exclusion, filter, focus, 203, 204, photo, J, A, 56, 190 for placement, 110, fitter constructions, 87, 92, 94, 126, 127, 189, 190 form, meaning correlation, 40, 50, 52, 56. See also autonomy thesis, sound meaning, relationship, syntax and semantics formal expression, 26, 27, free expression, 26, 32, Gabe, D, M, 29, gapping, 191, generics, see indefinite generic S, generative semantics, see syntax and semantics. See also names of generative semanticists. G. Ram Formal, 1, 0, 1, 8, 26, 27, 4, 1, 42, 52, 56, 57, 163, 166, 175, 176, 182, 183, 196, 199, 205 particular, 3, 40, 43. See also Extended Standard Theory. Universal G. Rama Grammatical Relations, 9 1, 170, 194, Grammaticality, 3, 3 3, 34, 40, 144, 212. And Recursiveness, 29, 202, Greenberg, J. H. 45, Gruber, J. 6. Hacking, I. 68 Hale, K, 6, 48 Charlie, M, 6 Harry S, Z, S, 34, 56 Helk, M, 9, 9 1, 94, 115, 176, 190 Highly Marked Rules, 22 1 Hinticker, J, 29, 202 M, L, 5 1 Hornstein, N, 168 housekeeping rules 83 97 140 174 
206 H a man language ability. C language. Faculty, human. Q, D, 4. Indefinite generics, 29, 30, 39, 51, 52, 193 index assignment, 8, 1, 1, 1, 2 indirect object movement, 130, 152 indirect question S. 156157 inference 193 innate capacity for language C language faculty human insertion prohibition 84 89 97 insertion rules 89 See also names of rules interpretively 5 16 17 20 94 95 107 153 157 178 206 see also semantic interpretation rules of island phenomena 19 205 f replacement 92 93 114 117 123 126 132 134 142 jack and off r 6 11 69, 90, 116, 167, 176, 184, 193, 205. Yes, person, 0, 25, 59, passim. Kaplan, D, 37, cats, J, J, 6, 3, 5, 69, 8, 8, 166, 167. 168 Kane, R, 134, 135, 170, 185, 206 Keenan, E, L, 56 Kimball, J, 113, 129 Kipaski, P, and C, 113. Knowledge and Belief, C Belief and Knowledge Systems, Croc, A. 29, 196. Cano, S, 66. Cupin, J, 19. Kirksler, Y, S, dash, dot, 200. L Containment, 111 Labov, W, 167 Lagoff, G, 52, 53, 54, 166, 170 Langendone, T. 1, 1, 3, 144. Language. Abstract characterization of 36, 3, 7, 206, 207. Nature of 2, 42, 63, 65, 70, 163. Language equity on 3, 1, 8, 20, 25, 26, 3 to 34. 63 66 72 81 164 167 187 language faculty human 16 32 3 3 38 63 65 70 144 164 187 206 last nick h 1995 96 170 171, 176, 183, 189, 192, 206 Lawler, J, 30 Leban, W, 114 Lewis, D, 30, 197, Lexical, Decomposition, 56 Properties, 87, 167, 184, Subcategorization, 151 to 152 transformations, 58 lexicalist hypothesis, 120, 142 lexicizability, 57 lexicon, 13, 57 lightfoot, D, 76, 188, 190. Linguistic theory. Goal of 18, 25, 26, 28, 32, 34, 38, 40, 63, 81, 207. History of TGG, 43, 44, 54, 56, 84, 
166, 168, 17, 1, 193. Nature of 3, 1, 33, 37, 42, 57, taxonomic 33, 34, 64, see also adequacy, empirical, extended, standard theory, logical analysis, classical, 1, 7, 30, 197, 198, 204, logical form, 5, IO, 1, 7, 59, 165, 167, 183, 192, 195, 204. Representations in 9, 193, 196, 198, 202 and shallow structure, 6, 9, 17 and surface structure, 183, 193, 196. 213. Logical quantification, 192, 193, 195, 197, 199. Lowering rel less, 10. Macaulay, J, 1, 1, 3 Muscaro, J, 6 mil, J, S, 26, 27 mil Sark, G, 5, 1, Montague Drama, 197. 198, 202, 204 Moravksik, J. M. E. 29 Morphologically related words, 4, 5, 57 movement rules, 175, 18, 1, 189, 190 movement rules, 175, 18, 1, 189, 190. Minor. 206 see also names of particular rules negation scope of 95 96 nominals 120 142 non-terminal symbols 168 notational conventions 14 1 156 169 172 193 204 notional categories 25 29 See also quantifiers. Noun phrases. Extraction from 10507 relation of to trace 911 20 179. See also definite noun phrases NP middle dot movement 6 173 189 190 205 NP preposing 8 9 1 3 5 143, 172, 174, 177, 179 of there, 12 NP postposing, 8, 9, 172, 174. Optimality, 34, 42, 43. Part e, B, 46, 50, 55, 197. Passive. Agentless. 100 doubly, 89 pseudo middle dot, 86, 89 passive transformation, 14, 56, 82, 89, 99, 135, 143, 15151, 170, 172 formulation of, 88, 169 perceptual strategies, 137, 143, 144 performance model, 3, 4, 33, 183. See also belief and knowledge systems. Competence. Performance strategy, 143, 144 Pearl Meta, D, 143 Peters, S, 194546, 46, 84, 118, 169, 170, 174 phonetic representation. C R representation. Finite I C. Phonological rules. 10, 45, 129, 136, 188, 203, 207. Phrase markers. 165, 16, 170. Picture middle dot noun reflexivization. 
176 plurality 29 3 1 38 39 4 52 199 postal p 6 88 94 1 1 3 1 16 1 30 1 68 1 70 17 1 1 94 199 Port Royal Grammar, 28 Possible Worlds Semantics, 35 Pragmatics, See Belief and Knowledge, Systems, Prediction Strategies, 144 Primitives, 3 2, 37, 4 1, 42, Formal, 46 Semantic, 4 1, 42, 45, 5 1, 57, PRO, Control of 12 1 1 3 1 1 7 1 20 1 23 1 28 1 35 140 149 1 50 1 54 1 84 Defined 1 2 1 9 1 versus trace 1 2 1 4 1 5 PRO deletion 93 1 1 3 1 16 120, 135 PRO replacement, 117, 128, 132 procedural linguistic theory, C linguistic theory, taxonomic projection rules, 43, 44 pronominalization, 136 proper inclusion, 106, 111 pruning, 118, 121, 124 pseudo cleft formation. 86 Putnam H 35 36 quantifiers 17 29 3 1 3 comma 52 55 95 96 115 116 170 196 197 199 202 see also definite noun phrases existential quantification Indefinite generics, plurality, universal quantification, quantifier movement, 170, 185, 206. See also each middle dot movement. Question middle dot formation, 69, 70, 83, 88, 97. Quickly, Carlos, 185, 191, 205, 206. Wine. W V 0 3 5 37 44 Raising 10 1 1 3 1 14 190 Rationalism 34 2 14 Reciprocal Interpretation 7 174 176 184 189 Each other 89 9 1 105 109, 114, 125, 178, 183. Recoverability of deletion, 19, 84, 128, 174 recursive languages, 1, 9 recursiveness of well for backslash lead sentences, 29, 202 reference, 37, 43, 94, 95. C. Al. Dot. So. Anaphora. Disjunct. Reference. Arai. Reflexivization. 94. 109. 176. 189. 191. Relative clauses. 46. 48. 54. 55. 65. 67. 83. 88. 153. 21. 206. Relativization. 49. 54. 55. 68 to 69, 83, 97, 145, 21. Representation. Levels of 5, 33, 44, 1, 166, 195, 198. Apostrophe phonetic. 34, 64, 165, 166. Semantic. 3 5 4 1 44 49 
165 166 c al so autonomy thesis respectively interpretation 123 Re non intersecting reference 94 95 109 116 see also semantic interpretation rules of ritchie r 1984 118 169 170 174 oddman r 5456 row epper r 5456 root sentences 6 153 root transformations 5 6 139 140 143 144 206 ross j r 1969 70 84 86 104 105 112 113 118 139 170 171 rules see names of particular rules and rule types Sapir E 28 29 3 1 44 50 scope of quantification see quantifiers selectional relations 56 58 93 94 self e 54 76 1 1 3 188 s semantic incoherence 70 182 semantic interpretation levels of 43 44 rules of 10 16 17 94 96 109 116 118 120 195 203 of surface structures 174 177 194 204 205 theory of 9 37 48 52 58 178 194 semantic parameters c autonomy thesis parametrized dictionary semantic primitives c primitives semantic semantic representation c representation semantic semantics versus syntax c syntax and semantics semiotic theory 44 46 57 sentence grammar ma. see grammar formal sentential subject constraint 112 shallow structure 6 9 10 17 58 157 sluicing 118 sound meaning relationship 25 28 3 1 34 36 t 65 illustrated 29 3 1 See also for meaning correlation specified subject 7 3 74 92 114 133 181 186 specified subject condition 11 20 7 2 74 90 100 105 114 143 passing 176 192 passing 205, 206 stress, 129, 136, 203 strict cycle condition, 97, 165 structural change, SC, 168, 171, 172 structural description, SD, 3, 5, 81, 168, 17, 172. 176 structure dependence of rules 37 65 82 83 structure preserving hypothesis 8 14 87 88 140 173 subjacency 101 103 11111 176 205 subjacency condition 20 104 110 122 127 132 138 139 151 subject grammatical 91 170 193 194 lexical 
143, 188 specified, 10, 1173, 74, 114, 133, 181, 186 subject condition. 108 112 subject postposing 135 subjunctive 87 176 superiority 10 1 108 surface exclusion filter 143 145 157 surface structure conditions on 177 179 192 and deep structure, 144, 165 and logical form, 166, 167, 183, 193, 196 and semantic interpretation, 52, 58, 106, 115, 116, 137, 191, 194. 197 198 204 205 synonymy 44 syntax and semantics 26 3 1 34 3 5 40 42 44 52 57 67 69 7 1 82 see also autonomy thesis for meaning correlation grammar formal 215. Taxonomy. 33. 34. 64. Teletype. Verbs. 97. 98. 152. 153. 192. Tense. Test. Condition. 20. 90. 95. 98. 129. 176. 180. 205. 206. Terminal symbols. 168 thematic relations 6 9 58 193 see also agency their insertion 1 2 5 152 topicalization 136 206 trace and clitic movement 186 187 defined 9 74 18 one phonetic effect of 7 5 76 187, 188, and PR row, 131, 135, 136, relation of, to NP, 9, 11, 20, 179, as specified subject, 181182 trace theory of movement rules, 111, 12, 14, 20, 38, 54, 58, 74, 75, 76, 18, 1, 204, 205, defined, 6, and derived constituent structure, 14, 1, 5, I, N, passive construction, 6, 9, in W, H, movement, 16, transfinentions, limiting the expressive power of, 1, 8, 19, 167, 168, 17, 174, 178, 180, 205. Nature of 5, 19, 44, 58, 82, 144, 178, 195. See names of particular rules and rule types. Truth conditions on sentences. 37, 193 truth values and meaning. 30, 3, 5, 37, 202. Universal Grammar, 2, 3, 5, 1, 5, 26, 32, 37, 38, 46, 48, 63, 69, 73, 75, 81, 82, 163, 164, 175, 182, 207. Universal Quantification, 29, 3, 1, 39, 5 5 1 C also plurality quantifiers unlike person constraint 94 95 Van Rimes Dick H 205 variable bound 1 1 74 1 95 1 97 202 203 3 
10 in structural descriptions, 168, 17 one type, 171 one Vendela, Z, 129 Vignaud, J.C, 49, 21 Vetter, D, 113 VP deletion, 118 want type, verbs, 115, 134, 178, 180, 184, 187, 190 Wassau, T, 54, 75, 120, 172, 176, 191, 194, 199, 21 WH movement, 17, 18, 69, 73, 86, 88, 97, 127 passing. 134, 145 passing. 157, 191, 195, 199, 205 WH placement. 139, 14, 1, 145 WH questions. 200, 206, wonder type verbs. 103, 146, 147, 155 X bath theory. 18. 168, 17, 1, 216.